Hello and welcome back. This is another Wise episode from Kujo Sound. I am Bjorn Jacobson, and today we'll be looking a little bit about how to mix certain materials together, both because it can sound really good, but also because it gives you a lot of variation very easily. Like the heel and toe example we had earlier, then in this case we're going to be using uh, one type of shoe and then one type of material, which means that in instead of having, let's say, five variations of shoe, then you also have five variations of material. So you get five times five variations just out of that. And even if you split them up into heel and toe as well, you can get thousands of variations out of very little material. So let's get to it. Um, we're going to be doing this in certain, in, in, well, in a lot of different ways. We're going to be using multi-events, but we're also going to use uh, blend containers. We're going to be using switch containers and all the other containers in, in combination. So let's get to it. First, we're going to be using a one event system. So let's create a blend container. We'll call it the footstep blender. And in our footstep blender, we are going to I have here some files, let's say concrete walk, concrete walk. Here we go. And that means that whenever I'm pressing play now, then we just have it play this concrete file. If we then let's say we want him to walk on dirt, I have a dirt sweetener here. We at the same time. Then when I press play now, it should play both the concrete, but also the dirt sweetener that I have. These dirt sweetener files, they are, they're just these tiny, tiny bits of dirt being mixed together. So in this case, we have a concrete footstep but let's say we made a basic material a basic sound of a boot no, uh, material unrelated then you could mix these two together um that's a that's a method that i have used in, in some of my previous productions so this is one way like if we over here in our events say we want to trigger the footstep blender in this case it can that this means that it only blends between these two let's lock it here because in this way, if we add another random container over here, it'll, it won't work because then it plays both dirt and um, the other one that we have. So let's, let's try another one here. So on our dirt sweetener, we make a new parent called the switch container. We will call it the material switch. Good. And then we already have dirt. Um, so let's say I have here a metal. And I have leaves, sure. And broken glass. And fluid. Like that. Okay. So now this, we don't have a switch for this. So instead of going over to our game sinks and creating the switch, we are now going to click the switch that we have, the switch container that we have here, say group switch container and make a new one. It'll always generate it in the default work unit. So if you're working on a bigger project and you need to order these things and put them in certain folders, this is not the way to do it, but you can do it and then move it afterwards if you want to. Now, a new switch group and we will make one called the material switch. So now we have our material switch over here. And again, we can click on our switch container here, say that it's using the material switch, but we want to use a new one here uh, because there are no actual switch states in it. We need broken glass and we need a new one called dirt and a new one called fluid and a new one called leaves and a new one called metal okay so let's let's try these out individually Oop, without locking the event of course this here is metal 
this bunch of metal sounds put together. Lead. This is really short. This is dirt. And glass. Okay, so <clears throat> our event here <clears throat> will now play the footstep blender. And as you can see down here, there is the material switch. We have concrete walk here, which means that, that this right now only plays concrete because we have down here in our materials, in our material switch, not told it which one, which container, which random container should play on the assigned objects here. So let's go dirt to dirt and metal to metal, leaves to leaves, broken glass to broken glass, and last but not least, fluid to fluid. Um, I usually create one extra here. Oh, here. And I make a new one called none. Ah, that's for internal use. No material. Let's call it that. Here we go. No material. And no material will be my new default one. And, and this one just points to no um, to no random container. So let's let's try and play our event here. Let's say we have no material. So right now we're just walking and then suddenly we step on glass. And then we move on. In that way we can have the same shoe with a different material. Um, like I said, if you, if you then make a system that, that could have, a, let's say, a raw shoe sound, uh, uh, like a materialless shoe sound of that one shoe, then you could mix between that and the material um, on the fly like this, and this gives you quite a lot of variations. This is more like a sweetener thing. Like, in this case, we have concrete for, we have a, a boots on concrete here. We could also make boots um, on metal like we did before in the previous blend container in the previous episode. Um, uh, we make concrete uh, walk, metal walk, uh, dirt walk, and all these. We make these together, and this is more like a switch, which can then take into account what happens when you blend these two together. And you can even make individual mixes of these. So let's see here. If we suddenly walk we're walking down a path right here in some video game, and it's really dark or whatever, and you step on leaves. And then suddenly you jump up on a car. And you jump back down on the dirt. And then you're suddenly indoors again and then it stops this is one way to use the blend container to use it to blend between materials like this like shoe and material but we can also do it in a different way so let's let's copy these out here and then say no there we go <clears throat> so now we have this is our concrete walk and this here is our material switch from before. Now we can make a new event here, say play, play underscore um, shoe type. I spelled that correctly. And let's say this place concrete walk. And then we can make another event, say Play material and this one then plays our material switch. No material. Broken glass. Fluid, whatever. There you go. And now we have two events. And the thing is that this means that you from your game needs to trigger two events. Um, that's one way to do it. We can also, let's say, if we have an event called play footsteps. So this is just the alternative to play FS. One event, but it triggers both the material switch and the footstep like this. Actually, we have, we could do it like this. 
the footsteps here actually triggers the footstep switch that we made in the previous episode. This one. So now we can actually say we are walking on. There you go. We are walking and running. The switch is from before. And you can also set the material switch. So now we have an actual walking, a very specific walking on metal with boots sound. And we have our material switch here. We, it's like a material sweetener. We could also be running. And then we step on a different kind of metal. And we can even over here in our material switch say, okay, this, this metal one, it's a little too loud. And then you can duck the volume down. So now we have one event that triggers both of these. So instead of having one event that triggers, um, that triggers a whole range of blend containers, um, and the blend container does it for you, and having hundreds of these switches, sometimes it's nice to have one event that triggers individual things over here, or you can even have, if you want to take this really further, um, if, if, um, if you want, it gives, I think you should go for like a 50-50 solution and have, instead of having 100 switches, it's really nice to have 50 switches and then 50 events. So let's say if we have uh, play FS, play footstep, uh, metal walk, and then have a switch determine uh what type of no in this case not walking but have a switch determine the the sweetener sound played on top so that you can have let's say metal run metal sneak and so on so that you can have all these events over here because else the higher key over here quite quickly if you use these ex these um more kind of like more extensive um extensive switch systems then you will sort of like easily lose track of what is going on they become sort of difficult to um to keep um to keep track of of what material is where especially if you're reusing material if you reuse a sound in two containers let's say you want to use the concrete boot walk sound in two different areas of a switch that means that if you suddenly later in the process need to alter the let's say the, the raw boot sound for some material then you can't just replace the files no no you need to replace how it's done in every one of those containers which means that it's prone to that you may overlook one container and so on so it's it's i like the 50 50 solution of having um of having multiple events so this here is still our play footsteps and let's say suddenly we're on concrete and we are running here and suddenly we step on fluid and fluid is too loud obviously so let's go over here and say minus that. and we, actually everything in the container here is too loud so let's say minus 12 to the whole thing and put fluid back up because we dampened that before, like that. Now remember, when I'm testing this, I'm clicking these manually. And in your game, this should of course be all be set automatically. So you can you can, um, th this should be done much faster, of course. It's not just point and click and so on. It, it, it's done automatically, so it switches between them. Now, if you have a game, uh, I've actually worked on one that worked like that, where switches and states and other things could not be set from the engine, from the code directly. It could only send events. So let's say here that we set, make a new event, we call it 
set switch. See, here we have all these. And we can say set switch, and then you right click and set target. Let's say if it's the material switch, and then you can have it, let's say, broken glass. Now it sets the switch to broken glass. So you can have these events here. You can have one. This one is called. And then you can have set switch metal. You can have these events that does this for you, um, which changes these. You can even make events that play underscore. Let's see here. All these things here. Set volume change the pitch to up and down and things like that instead of using rtpcs and other material other ways of doing it you can do it all in in events like this so in case your game does not allow to send you parameters or things like that which most games do but in case you in case you end up in a case where that that happens then you can set every game, game parameter you can set every state you can set every switch and trigger everything but you can even also let's say you make a series of of these events here uh, set switch broken glass metal set play material and all that you can make an event and instead of having multiple um this is one event that trigger multiple things you can even have let's say a fs global and in here you can actually drag and drop other events um so instead of playing the containers over here not like that. The FS global, we can say play material and play FS. So our this works in exactly the same way. It's actually triggering the two other events. It's not triggering the containers themselves uh, over here, um, which is also a way to do it. Um, and yeah, that should be enough material for you to play around with. Um, hopefully you learned something from this, and if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments box, um, and I'm happy to answer them, or write to me at b at kujo.dk, or on Twitter, it's at white noise trash. Um, the usual promotional stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button and sign up on Patreon if you like all these videos. There's a lot of videos coming in on different materials, Maximus P., engine stuff um also discussing various video games and so on um please do that helps me continue making these videos see you next time